Okay, now part three is really crazy tricky. I'm gonna walk you through that step by step. But part two, I reckon you guys can help me work out the trajectory through it and then do all the working yourself without my help. Let's read the question and then we're gonna work out what to do with it. An overhead power cable obstructs the ship's exit from the wharf. Now some good town planning. Uh, the ship can only leave if the water depth at the wharf is 8.5 meters or less. So here is the water depth at the wharf. I should actually now draw it, maybe now you can do with me, a more accurate drawing of this because that was just my random cosine function. And in fact, because of this uh, vertical shift, I know that I'm actually moved up and down. So why don't you draw for me here? What is this thing going to look like? Well, if I go from four up to 10 and I start at high tide, it is gonna be this shape, but it's going to be higher like that. That looks okay. That looks okay. All right, so this is what it looks like. So you can see we can't leave uh, the wharf immediately. Do you see that? I can't leave. The water level is too high. I'm going to hit that overhead power cable. Okay, so I have to wait to some point and then it'll be safe to go. Okay, when do I want to wait until? Have a look. What does it say? I want the water depth to not be 10, not be 9, I want it to be 8.5. Okay, so you can actually put, it doesn't have to be super accurate, but enough so that you can see it on the graph. My 8.5 looks like it's somewhere around there, I'd say. He says with scientific precision. So if that's where 8.5 is, you can see there are a couple of times when the graph hits 8.5, but I want the, have a look at the wording, I want the earliest time that I can go. Right, so I want to find out when that time is, and that will give me a result. Okay, t t is a time unit. What kind of time unit is it? It's going to be hours of some kind. So t is going to be equal to a number, and you're going to have to translate that into not a number of hours, but a time on the clock. They actually give it to you 4 or 5 a.m. So I'm going to pause there and see if that's enough information for you guys to try and go through the working. If you think you're on the right track, call me over, but you do know the answer you're supposed to get to, so see if you can get there on your own. Well, let's bring it back together. So you can see I haven't written all of the uh, working here because I think most of it's quite trivial and you guys can handle it. If you want the full thing, it's right here and I can show it to you afterwards. But I've just put in the key steps. This is a two mark question. Some of you have asked, oh, where would the marks be? Okay, now please note, they've given you the final answer already. So we get nothing for writing four or five a.m. at the bottom, okay? All the marks are on what were the things that show the 4 or 5 a.m. is the actual answer. So I've put in what I think are the main acts is one last thing I want to write. So firstly, have a look here. I'm solving for when y, that's the water depth at the wharf, is equal to this safe um, depth, 8.5, okay? Uh, it takes a little bit of monkeying around with the numbers, it's really just arithmetic, to get to here. And then you then have to solve for 4 pi t on 25. So you need cos inverse, okay? Um, I put this in here. I think it's a, a nice touch. You don't have to have it, but it's handy, okay? We have an infinite number of solutions for this, but I don't want any of the solutions. I want the earliest solution. That's what the question says. Show that the earliest possible time is da 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 da, right? So I've said, well, the first time that cosine has a solution there, is pi on three. That's the first time it hits a half. So once I do that, again, there's a bit of manipulation of the fractions and so on. This is what I get to, okay? Now I think probably the last thing that's important is to interpret what this means. T is the number of hours after high tide. So therefore, it is safe two hours, and what is a twelfth of an hour? Five minutes, which gives me my 4.05 a.m. So this is after high tide at two. And then I would say, well, that's 4.05, just like your question said. Okay, there it is, two marks, happy times.